What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a very quick one. I'm just going to show you how to use Google Fonts with Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. Pretty much this is going to be taking Google Fonts, installing it on your computer, Windows-based PC, or an Apple computer. Now, me, I'm a web developer, a web designer, and I like using Google Fonts on the websites I create. But if you're a graphic designer or if you're looking to use Google Fonts on some form of image or project you're working on, then installing Google Fonts on your operating system is going to be a great thing to do. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go to the Google Fonts website right over here. I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger. All right, so just for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do here is let's say you want to use uh, this font over here, or if you want to identify any other fonts, you can take a look at the big library that Google Fonts offers. You can organize your search based on the type of font you want in terms of the style. So if you don't want a serif font, so you'll eliminate that checkbox. If you don't want it to be handwriting, you eliminate that checkbox. So you get your selections over here. So you have two options. You can see the specimen as it says over here. It takes you to a new page and you can type out over here the actual wording that you're going to want to use to see how it comes out with that font. Then if you like it, you can select this font by clicking this icon over here. If you go back over here, let's say you already know that you want this one, you can just click this icon right here. So you're going to see that you get this little pop-up towards the bottom. You click this over here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this font. So you just hover over this download icon and click on download. It's going to download that zip file to your computer or your Mac OS operating system. And then we're going to have to go into our file explorer, into our folders, our download folder. So we see we have this here. Now this is where Mac OS and Windows are going to go a little bit different in terms of the way it deals with zip files. If you're on a Mac OS operating system, all you have to do is double click the zip file and it'll create another folder right next to that zip file. With Windows, click on the file itself. You're going to have to go over here to where it says Compress Folder Tools. If you don't see this, it'll be in the home section of your file explorer. Click on that and then click on Extract All. It'll ask you if you want to put the folder here and if you want to show the extracted files when completed. Click on Extract. It's going to unpackage that. And what you're going to get is a root level folder here. And again, this is on a Windows operating system. Double click on that one. And here you get all the files. On Mac OS, you would also just double click on that folder and you get all the files there as well. So what we want to do is take all these files here, the TTF files. These are the fonts that we're going to be working with. With Windows, what you want to do is copy those files. And very quickly, if you don't see the file extension, I'm just going to unhighlight this. What you want to do is go to the View section and make sure you check off this box here, File Name Extensions. All right, so we're going to copy all these files here, the TTF files. And this is on Windows. Make sure to copy it to your clipboard. And then we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to your C drive. We'll go to the Windows folder right there. And then we're going to look for the Fonts folder, which is right here. And now these are all the fonts that are on your computer. So you would take all those fonts, make sure you clicked into that folder, and you would just paste them from your clipboard. Once they're done, they're inside of your font folder. And you can identify that based on the name. And you see Roboto is right here, a Roboto. All right, so if you're on a Mac, what you're going to do is from that downloads folder, you would just highlight all these TTF files. You would right click them and then click on the open with, and you're going to open it with font book, which is how Mac OS works with your fonts on your operating system. From there, you're going to get a pop-up and you're going to click on the button that says install fonts, and then it'll be inside your operating system. All right, so now we already have this installed in our font folder on Windows and on Mac. Now, just to double check, we're going to open up Photoshop and we're going to see if that's available. So I'm just going to open up this file over here. And now let's say I want to use that font. Let's say I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select this item, click on my type tool, and then I'm going to go over here 
and I'm going to look for Roboto or Roboto and see if it's available. And now you see we have it over here. So that's it. That's exactly how you would work with it in Photoshop. I'm going to X out of this one here. I'm not going to save that. I want to see what about Illustrator. All right, so I'm just going to go over here to Create New. This is just going to be a very quick demonstration. Go to Print, Create, and now we're here. All right, so now I'm just going to grab the Type Tool, and I'm going to type in here. But let's say I want to use the Roboto font type. Let's see if it's available. And it is. We have it right here. All right, so that's it. That's how you can use Google Fonts on your computer, whether it's Windows-based or Mac OS. And you could use it with Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and pretty much any program on your computer that utilizes fonts. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification icon. If you're not already part of the community, then welcome aboard. If you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.